Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to magically solve all of your life's problems just by using magic mushrooms. And if this sounds a little bit good, too good to be true, then stick with me. You'll see exactly how I use mushrooms to solve every single problem in my life. I think your mind is going to be blown by the end of this episode, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you my exact protocol. Now, I get hundreds of messages from people online asking me how to use magic mushrooms to solve their addictions, to cure their depression, to improve their productivity, to discover their life purpose to raise their consciousness, to wean themselves off of their medications, to overcome negative limiting beliefs, to heal their relationship with their boyfriend or their girlfriend, to love themselves deeply. And magic mushrooms can help you in the process of doing all of these things. But I think that there has been a misunderstanding in the collective community, people are searching out solutions for their problems. I 100% completely understand when you are lost in your life, when you're hopelessly addicted to maybe video games or drugs or smoking weed or alcohol or watching Netflix, you're addicted. You have no guidance in your life. Your life's going in the complete wrong direction. Now you're looking for an answer. You're looking for a solution. And it seems like, oh, magic mushrooms. Many people say they take magic mushrooms and they have a healing, transformative life experience that cures their depression or that heals their addiction. And then people get this misunderstanding, this wrong idea that, oh, so all I need to do to solve my addiction or to wean off of my medication or to fix my mind, all I need to do is just get my hands on some mushrooms and just eat them. And now all of my problems in my life are going to be solved. Now, you guys need to understand, I literally get hundreds of messages from people who are not in a good place in their life asking me, Adam, where do I get mushrooms? I need to use them so that I can fix my life. <laughs> See, please, I in the future, I'm going to be sending you this video, okay? Because I want you to understand that magic mushrooms will not magically solve all the problems in your life. So I'm sorry if I click baited you into this video, but if that was your attitude, if you thought that you're going to fix your issues by using mushrooms, I'm sorry, I have a rude awakening for you. And the reason why I'm sharing this information with you is because I actually want to help you. And by following this protocol, I'm actually am going to show you an awesome protocol that is a holistic solution where magic mushrooms are only a small part of the process. This is a process I'm going to show you can actually heal your life. You can heal your emotional problems, your addictions, your productivity. All of this can be fixed, but only if you take a holistic approach. So this solution I'm going to be sharing with you is not a magic pill. You can't just take a magical mushroom and then all of a sudden, all of the hard work that you have to do to actually fix your mind, to heal your psychological trauma, to practice meditation, to raise your awareness, to read books, to understand human psychology, all of that work, all of a sudden you don't need to do it anymore because you ate a magical fungus. See, this is the, the classic human drive where we want to get something for nothing. We want to have deep emotional healing and grow as a person, but, but we don't, we don't want to do the work. We just want to take a mushroom and then have all of our problems solved for us. Now, don't get me wrong. Magic mushrooms are extremely beautiful and powerful tools 
that have personally transformed my entire life. I've used them to gain deep spiritual awakenings, to work on my addictions, my limiting beliefs, to let go of uh, childhood trauma and all of these things. So these are awesome, powerful tools that help me connect to nature, to become the best version of myself. But now I want to show you how to use these tools as part of a holistic personal development plan because magic mushrooms will only work for you if you work for yourself, if you set the proper foundation for yourself. So imagine you want to launch a rocket to the moon. First, in order to launch the rocket, you need to set up the landing pad. You need to organize all of the scientists together. You need to set up the logistics. You need to set a launch date. You need to handle all of the foundation. You need to prepare for a year. When, when NASA launch a, launches a rocket into space, they prepare for years in advance before the, the rocket can launch. So in the same way in your life, if you want to launch yourself into a higher state of consciousness and to have a, a, an emotional healing experience with magic mushrooms, that is possible. And I'm going to show you how to do that by setting the proper foundation for yourself in terms of your personal development. So if you're in a bad place in your life and you need help, I sympathize with you, I understand, I've been there before, and the way that I got myself out of that is by committing 100% of my life force and all of my time and energy into learning about self-actualization, personal development, meditation, and becoming the best version of myself. The reason why you're in the hole that you're in right now is because of ignorance. And you're not a bad person. It's not your fault. I'm just saying the way society has kind of corralled you into a corner, no one has taught you how to meditate. No one has taught you all of these things I'm going to teach you right now. So just keep in mind the reason why you're stuck is because you're ignorant. And if you want to get unstuck, you need to be able, if you want to get over your addiction, you need to be able to do that without mushrooms. If you want to discover your life purpose, you need to already be doing that work without mushrooms. If you want to have a spiritual awakening experience, you already need to be doing spiritual work on yourself without mushrooms. If you want to be more productive, you need to be doing that without mushrooms. And then the mushrooms, they're going to catalyze all of the good work that you're doing for yourself. All right, so I'm gonna pull this whiteboard right into the screen right now. Hopefully you guys can see this. I have three words written on here, okay? This, these are, this is the foundation of personal development and we're gonna be going over, if you implement what I'm going to be telling you here, your magic mushroom journeys will go one million times deeper. And no, I didn't misspeak. I, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being cute. When I say the, the one million times deeper, I'm actually being literal. By following the advice I'm going to be giving you now, this will make the difference between you doing mushrooms, sitting on your couch, looking at the funny colors, playing Doom Eternal and chainsawing demons and just, you know, wasting your trip by distracting yourself and having a bad trip, an anxiety attack, calling the cops on yourself, complaining on my videos, texting me, Adam, I did seven grams of mushrooms for my first time. What went wrong? Yeah, what went wrong is that you don't know what the fuck you're doing at all. Not even close, actually. You're not taking this process of personal development, personal growth, you're not taking it seriously. So I, right now I'm just going to be showing you the foundations of personal development. If you implement this stuff into your life, your mushroom trips are going to be like, you're, you're literally going to become the Buddha. You're going to become Jesus Christ. That's possible. That's happened to me. 
not that I'm Jesus or that I'm like some Messiah, but that I've had literally unification, non-dual experiences because I do this work on myself when I'm sober. So that when I take the mushrooms, it all comes together for me. See, if you do no work on yourself, if you're in a terrible place in your life, if you're addicted, hopelessly lost, have never learned about any type of meditation, spirituality, um, personal development, you've never learned any of that at all, or all you listen to is like Ty Lopez, like shallow stuff, that's all you, you listen to, you've never read a personal development book in your whole life, and now you think, okay, I'm going to take a mushroom, and now that's going to solve my life's issues, I, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. You're going to get way in over your head. You're going to have a bad trip. Okay, so I want to help you. I want to prevent that. And I want to help you get the best possible experience and grow yourself as much as possible. Okay? So if I sound like I'm being harsh, it's, I just, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm trying to fucking help you. A lot of people are ignorant. Okay? We're going to be solving that problem. So first, let's talk about meditation. Okay? Meditation is the only practice you need to do in order to fix your entire life. Okay? And I'm being very serious. Meditation is what's called a keystone habit. So all of your life rests upon your meditation practice. Be honest with me. Are you practicing meditation every single day? Do you even know how to do that? Do you even know how to meditate properly? And it's okay. If your answer is no, then you shouldn't be doing magic mushrooms. I'm sorry. The reason why is because meditation is your secret weapon. Imagine you're taking to magic mushrooms. That's like going into a deep, deep, dark jungle. There's monsters. There's fucking demons in this, this scary haunted forest. You don't know what is, you're, is going to come up during your trip. You might come face to face with some childhood trauma. You might have an emotional release. You might start thinking about how your mom was beating you. You might start processing generational trauma. This happens to me where all of a sudden I'm, you know, I'm having a good time on mushrooms. All of a sudden I feel the collective pain and suffering of all of humanity all at once. And for most people, that's a, a very heavy experience. So my shiny sword, my secret weapon that helps me survive in the haunted jungle that is a mushroom trip is meditation. Now, crash course Meditation is the practice of detaching from thoughts and just resting in awareness of the present moment. Meditation is the practice of being aware of when you are getting sucked into thoughts, stories, concepts, and practicing detaching from that and grounding yourself and coming back coming back to the breath, coming back to the present moment. Because in, in your life, if you haven't noticed, you're constantly thinking all the time and you can't stop. If I said, here, I will give you $10 trillion. All you have to do is stop thinking for one minute. You would never get that money. Because you can't stop thinking. Because you have no control over your mind. Now the goal of meditation is not to stop thinking. You are not in control of your thoughts. Don't try to stop thinking. Okay, it won't work. It's gonna, you're going to get yourself into trouble. Okay? Instead, just be aware of thoughts. Detach from thoughts. Don't allow yourself to get sucked into them. And when you do get sucked into them, which you will, that's the point. You've been getting sucked into thoughts for your entire life. That's your habit. So notice when you're getting sucked into thoughts and just be aware. So think about it like this. This is you. 
okay actually we'll, we'll we'll do it even better okay i'm gonna draw on the board i'm drawing a thought train okay it's like a train there's 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 a caboose in the back this is a, a thought train okay what normally happens is that your mind this is this thing represents your mind your mind gets sucked into the train the train sweeps you away you're lost in the thoughts you're thinking about your car keys you're thinking about your business you're thinking about these video games you're thinking about sex you're thinking about food you get sucked into the thought you're thinking about the conversation you have to have with your boss you're thinking about your girlfriend you get sucked in. You don't even notice you're getting sucked in. You just get sucked in and you don't know what the hell happened. So when you're practicing meditation, the point is to realize, oh, I keep getting sucked into my thoughts. This is the root cause of all suffering, anxiety, depression, addictions. This is the root cause right here. You don't know how to detach from your thoughts. I'm going to say it again. The root cause of all suffering, what did the Buddha say? The Buddha himself said, the root cause of all suffering is attachment. You get sucked into your thoughts. You don't know how to detach. So meditation is the process by taking 20 minutes every single day. You're detaching from thoughts. You're focusing on the breath. So you start thinking about your boss, about that thing you saw on TV. But when you're doing your 20 minutes a day meditation practice every single day without skipping a day, when, when you notice yourself getting sucked into the mind, what's going to happen is you're going to notice it. You're going to gently bring your attention out of the thought you're going to hop off the thought train and you're going to come back to your breathing, back to the breath. Do me a favor right now. Just take a deep breath into your belly and exhale. When you put your attention on your belly, if you can for me right now, put your hand on your belly and just feel the rising of your belly and feel the falling of your belly. Take one deep breath for me. Notice the belly rises and it falls. Now for the next 30 seconds as I'm talking, I just want you to keep your hand on your belly and don't control your breathing. Just allow your breathing to happen naturally. But just keep your hand on your belly and just notice the movement of your belly as the breath rises and falls. Rises and falls. You don't have to control your breath. Just allow it to happen naturally. See, this is a very grounding experience. This is very important. You need to know how to do this. Whenever you notice yourself getting lost in a thought, come back to the rising and the falling of the belly. So the rest of this video, I want you to keep bringing your attention back to the rising and the falling of the belly. It's going to be a challenge because I'm going to start talking about other stuff that's going to help you a lot in your life. But challenge yourself. Keep coming back. Try not to forget the rising and the falling of the belly as the video progresses. See, the reason why this is practically important is because all anxiety, worry, depression, craving, all of that is caused by thoughts. So when you can detach from thoughts, you realize you are not your mind. Right now, you're a slave to your mind. Whatever your mind says, you just do like a zombie. Oh, I'm craving food. And then you just go get food like a zombie because you think you are your thoughts. Oh, I'm craving sex. So you go watch some porn or you go, um, go have some sex. 
You just follow your thoughts like a zombie. You don't have any control over your mind. But when you learn detachment, when you can just create just a little bit of space, all, all you need is just one inch of space, just a little space between you and your thoughts. Because right now the problem is you are in your thoughts. There's no space between your awareness and the thoughts themselves. Your awareness is sucked into your thoughts. There's no space there. So meditation is the practice of creating space between my awareness and the objects within my awareness, which include thoughts, sounds, sights, smells, tastes, and, and feelings. The, the, the five senses, sound, sight, taste, touch, smell, and thinking and thoughts as well, that's the sixth sense. This is Buddhist theory I'm giving you right now. These are objects of awareness, okay? Meditation is separating awareness from the objects of awareness. This is liberation. This is freedom from attachment, freedom from suffering, freedom from pain, freedom from craving. This is the ultimate goal of life. This is what you want. So when you're saying, Adam, he, Adam, I really need some mushrooms. I really need to heal my depression. I really need to cure my cravings. Yes, you do. But the, the path is not taking one gram of mushrooms. The path is practicing meditation, learning about meditation, studying it, taking it seriously. That's what I've done in my life. At this point, I've done over 12 meditation retreats. I lived in Thailand for three months with monks. They taught me how to meditate. I meditate every single day. This is what you need to take seriously. Okay. Uh, did you remember your breath? <laughs> Are you still following the rising and the falling of the breath or did you get lost? Did you forget? So when you're tripping on mushrooms, now, when there's this thought that comes up, oh, my mom used to beat me when I was a child. Oh, all of humanity's fucked. Oh, the government's fucked. Oh, everything's fucked. See, when that thought comes up, see, you're not going to get, you might get lost in it for a minute, but you'll be able to return back to the breath. That's the shiny sword that's going to protect you in the deep forest in the dark woods. You need this tool, this training. If you don't know how to meditate, don't do mushrooms. <laughs> okay. My first trip, I was meditating for a year already. I was psychologically mature. So a lot of people ask me, Adam, you know, I, I did mushrooms. I got stuck in my mind. I got lost in thoughts. I just kept thinking about my life purpose. You know, what did I do wrong? I ask you, how's your daily meditation practice going? And then you might say, oh, fuck, I'm not meditating. Okay. So recently people have been asking me, hey, you know, how do I use mushrooms to fix my life? I send them a video meditation for beginners. <laughs> okay. This is what you want. You want awareness. That's what you want. The reason why you're called to mushrooms, if you feel like you want to use mushrooms, yeah, the reason why is because you want awareness. You want to be connected to the present moment deeply. Mushrooms can help you with that, but not unless you help yourself first with meditation. Mushrooms is like training how to use a sword, but meditation is like the sword itself. Yeah, sure, I can train you how to use a sword, but if you don't even have a sword in the first place, or actually, let me flip the metaphor. Mushrooms is like the shiny sword, and then meditation is like knowing how to use it. It's like the training. So if you don't know how to use the sword, if you've never trained yourself in meditation, you're going to chop your hand off. You're going to stab yourself by accident. Because you're using the tool, the mushrooms, the sword, you're using the tool, but you don't have the training. All right. That's very key. I hammered this point. It's very important to understand. The next thing, which these ones are a lot more simple, exercise, okay, and diet. I'm, I'm going to lump these together. This is very basic, okay? Remember your breath. <laughs> 
Don't forget your breathing, rising, falling, hand back on the stomach, rising, falling. See, exercise and diet are gonna help you a lot as well. Um, just very basic. You wanna be exercising every day, okay? If you can't handle exercising every day, going for a long run, going to the gym, doing some yoga. If you can't handle that as a daily exercise, then really you're not psychologically mature enough to use magic mushrooms. Okay? This is just basic personal development. Work out every day. Okay? You don't have to be a gym rat. You don't have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, but get your body moving. Raise your heart rate. Get connected to to yourself. Stretch. Okay, if you're sitting in your room playing video games all day, or you just go to work, drive to work, drive home and sit on the couch all day, you can't use mushrooms, you're not prepared, you're not mature enough, you're still a baby, you're a child, grow up, do some exercise, okay? Very important, it's basic, basic health right there, okay? It's gonna help you connect to your body, it's gonna help you with your energy, it's gonna help you with discipline, with strength. You need that on a trip. Again, it's like a sword. How are you even going to lift the sword if you have no muscles or you have no physical strength? If you have a giant beer gun, you look like Jabba the Hutt. How, you can't lift the sword. You can't use it. All right. And the same with diet. So if you eat a fucking giant pizza the night before your trip, you're going to have a shitty trip because you, you're eating the wrong food in general. In your life, you're eating the wrong food. And many people discover, they, they take a two grams of mushrooms and they realize, oh fuck, I've been eating KFC and McDonald's every single night for dinner. And then the mushrooms, you have a deep, intense experience of suffering where your body is mad at you. You're, you're, insides are hard they feel numb because you've been feeding them poison for years and now you realize this all at once and one of two things can happen on one hand you can have a great epiphany and you can just realize oh my god i need to change my diet wow and then you can have that realization and that'll start you off on a new path in your life you start eating vegetable soup instead of KFC. You start out on a new path in your life. So that's the one, one thing can happen is that you get a positive change and that's great. That's why mushrooms are so powerful. They can show you what's not working in your life if you're ready to see that. But on the other hand, on the other hand, you could have a bad trip where you realize how fucked your body is, how, sh how poorly you treat your own body and then you, you, you don't know how to detach from thoughts because you don't meditate. You don't know how to practice self-love and be forgiving and accepting of yourself. So now you just, you hop on the bad trip train. You don't know how to hop off because you don't know how to practice meditation. You hop on the bad trip train and you just ride it into bad trip town. And you have a terrible time. And you traumatize yourself. All right? So that's why I'm trying to help you here, okay? You can fuck yourself up. This is how you prevent it. Get your shit together. Exercise, diet, meditation, okay? Those are the keys. Now, off the top of my head, I'm gonna give you some other keys which are very, very important. First of all, first of all is research, research existence or research life research personal development spirituality you need to start understanding how human psychology works and that's what i talk about on this channel for free i have hundreds of videos talking about how your mind works how your mind deceives you how emotions work how meditation works check out my video how to shift into being cognition that's going to help you a lot so you need to start taking your personal development seriously. You need to start feeding your mind with positive, uplifting information. 
Start learning about law of attraction. Start learning about um, meditation, spirituality, Buddhism. Okay? Buddhism, what is that? Buddhism is the science of awakening, of becoming the best version of yourself. Study it. It's awesome. All right? So research existence, my channel can help you with that. Hundreds of other channels on YouTube can help you with that. Actualize.org is my favorite resource for personal development material. Also, um, there's just a lot of awesome teachers like Brian Scott. I love listening to his lectures. There's just so many great teachers. Okay, so listen to some high vibrational, good quality personal development content, audio books, Read a book. Look, check a look. A random book I pulled off my bookshelf. Power versus Force. I'm in the middle of reading this book right now. It's awesome. It's changing my life. It's, it's teaching me about the levels of human consciousness, about personal development, everything. So get reading, okay? If you're not reading books, don't do mushrooms. If you're not learning, don't do mushrooms. Get your shit together first, and then the mushrooms are like the cherry on top. That's like the bonus. All right, so now finally that you know how to set the foundation for yourself with meditation, exercise, diet, filling your mind with positive information, these are the basics. Now that you have the basics down, now I'm going to show you my favorite way for actually using the mushrooms. See, now this is only a small part of the holistic plan, okay? So once you have the foundation set, now when you actually take the mushrooms, this is what I recommend that you do, okay? So if you're a beginner, or even if you're an intermediate tripper, I recommend you need a, a gram scale. You need to actually buy a scale from Amazon, something that you can weigh the mushrooms on, Take your mushrooms, they're dried mushrooms, weigh the whole mushroom, stem and cap, weigh it on the scale until you get about 1.5 grams, okay? This is awesome for a first trip. This is great for, I, I sometimes do 1.5 grams. I haven't used mushrooms in two months now because I'm just living my sober life and doing all the other stuff. I don't need to use mushrooms that frequently. But when I do do mushrooms, usually I do about 1.5 or two grams, okay? That's an awesome dose, okay? You're gonna feel a great effect, but it won't be too strong, okay? So starting lower and going slower is always better than doing too much, okay? So 1.5 grams, weigh it out and make sure that you have an empty stomach when you eat it, okay? So you need to be alone and you need to have the day off. So make sure that when you're tripping, you don't have any other responsibilities. You don't have your parents calling you. You don't have your girlfriend knocking on the door. You have the day off. You're, you don't have to go to work later. Everything is free. It's your day, okay? So the day is off day off and per preferably even have two days off because day one is the day that you trip but then the next day day two you're gonna need to just relax and just not have a bunch to do that day so two days off i recommend tripping on saturday so that you have sunday off you can relax rest chill out go for a walk integrate your experience so that you don't have to go to work the next day and still be shocked from your mushroom trip. Okay, so empty stomach, day off, and I recommend doing 1.5 grams. Now, I have a two-step formula for you for making sure that you have the deepest and most profound possible trip, okay? The two-step formula, it's very simple. So first of all, you wanna be alone, okay? You don't need people around. Okay, if you've been practicing meditation, you're armed. Okay, you have the, the, the shiny sword, the training, you know how to use it. You don't need a trip sitter. Okay, because if you have a trip sitter at this point, that's actually going to detract from your trip. It's going to distract you. Okay, you don't want to have a sober person sitting around judging you 
while you're tripping. Okay, you just want to be by yourself in your own energy where you feel comfortable and safe in your own little hidey hole. Okay, I recommend tripping by yourself in your room. Nobody's home. It's just you. No one's going to walk in on you or in, in nature. If it, there's good weather and uh, you can find yourself a private spot, set a blanket out for yourself, make yourself nice and comfortable and safe. Okay. There's no bears coming to attack you. Just <laughs> safe area. Okay. You don't need a trip sitter. Do it alone alone and now when you're by yourself this is setting you up for a prime opportunity to use my two-step formula which is step one sit down okay and then step two shut up okay this is the two-step formula. This is how you're going to get the best possible results. Sit down and do nothing. Shut up. Get off your phone. Turn off the TV. Eliminate the distractions. Stop talking to your friends. Stop texting people. Sit down. Shut up. <laughs> okay? And I recommend that during this time where after you take the mushrooms, they're in your stomach, you just took them, now you have about 30 minutes for the mushrooms to start coming on. In this time, take five, 10 minutes, clean your area, make sure everything's all prepared. You have um, maybe a garbage bin beside you if you need to throw up. You have water, your area is safe, you have a blanket. Maybe you have a journal, a pen if you wanna write something down. But you're all safe and comfortable. Sit down and just do some meditation for 30 minutes, okay? Just sit, relax, focus on your breath, vibe out, be present in the moment. Sometimes I like wearing noise canceling headphones and putting on some like monotone, like Hertz music, um, like four, three, two Hertz, something very monotone, very chill. Sometimes I like putting ohm, chanting like oh like monks chanting see this this music kind of gets me in the zone gets me calm relaxed in the moment okay doing my meditation getting present and i recommend that you just do nothing for the first three hours of your trip so after 30 minutes you're going to start to feel effects okay you're going to start to feel effects after 30 minutes. And then you're going to actually peak around two hours. All right. So at the two hour mark, that's going to be the strongest that the trip is going to be. So at two hours, you want to be alone in the room meditating. Okay. Just chill. You can lie down. You don't have to be like all like tight in a, in a full perfect lotus pose. Just lie down. Uh, sit down, make yourself comfortable, relax. You can walk around a bit. You can pace the room if you want to stand up, explore your body. But you, um, you don't want to be distracting yourself. So you don't want to be playing video games. I literally get messages. People are like, oh, you know, I'm ready to do my mushrooms. I'm all relaxed. You know, I got you know, all the, everything's prepared and I'm so excited to just sit down and play Doom Eternal for four hours. Where Doom Eternal, if you don't know, it's like a video game where you just chainsaw demons and like shotgun them in the head, basically. So if you're gonna play Doom Eternal, don't do the mushrooms. What you wanna do is just sit down and just shut up, okay? Do nothing for three hours. This allows you to face your demons. This is meditation. This lets you actually dive deeply inwards so that you can heal emotional trauma or so that you can have a spiritual awakening. All right. So empty stomach, 1.5 grams alone, safe area, day off, sit down, shut up, go deeply inwards. Also surrender to the experience. Okay. Since you've been practicing meditation, Surrendering is all very easy. Just whenever you find yourself fighting, resisting, being afraid, just meditate, just come back to the breath. 
Just relax. Go with the flow of the moment. Allow it to happen. Don't fight against it. Just surrender. Relax. Allow it to take you. And uh, yeah, so for three hours, four hours, just chill by yourself and everything that needs to happen is going to happen. You might have a big epiphany, a big insight. You might explore your body. You might have a spiritual awakening where you understand the true nature of existence. You might find your life purpose. You might heal your relationship with your parents. Okay. That's all possible, but it's only possible if you follow the exact protocol that I just gave you. And afterwards, after you're done tripping, after about six hours, the mushrooms are going to start to come down and your trip is going to begin ending. So the end of your trip will be around the eight hour mark where you're completely sober again. See now at this point, you can just relax, rest. The, this point you can eat some food, go light on the food. We've talked about diet. So have some rice or some salad or some vegetables. Don't go to McDonald's after your mushroom trip. Okay. Eat some healthy food afterwards to come down. Um, you can hang out with your loved ones. You can talk to your friends about it. You can call them on the phone. You can just, you can do normal sober stuff. Now around eight hours, you'll be sober again. This is the integration phase. Okay. So don't throw yourself right into like, um, doing something crazy. Like don't go, uh, play video games right after, or don't go smoke a giant blunt to your face right after you finish tripping. You want to be gentle with yourself. You want to be chill. You don't want to go to a seafood, all you can eat sushi restaurant after your mushroom trip. Okay. You want to take it slow, integrate slowly, ease yourself back into your life because you've, you've actually grown a lot at this point. If you follow everything I'm telling you in this video by eight hours, within eight hours of your life, you're going to grow the most you ever have in your entire life. So you need to ease yourself back into the regular world. You don't want to get swept away by your old habits. You've shocked your system. You've changed something deeply about yourself. You've experienced a profound experience. So don't go back into just your regular life. You want to ease yourself back into like integrate slowly. That's why you take that second day off. So that the next day you can just relax, walk around, listen to some music, listen to an audiobook, talk to your friends, chill out. Okay. And, um, the next day you might feel a bit tired, but overall you're going to be fine. And then after you can slowly integrate all of the lessons you learned into your life. So there's a lot of content you need to understand before you decide to use magic mushrooms. Okay. So I hope just, just to, to clarify, I hope you understand that I'm not saying this to be an asshole. I'm not saying you need a PhD in all of existence before you use magic mushrooms. All I'm saying is just start to get the basics handled. If you're in a deep, dark hole in your life, you need to, I know it's hard, easier said than done, but you need to start, first of all, fill your mind with positive, uplifting information. That's where it starts. Stop listening to crap. Stop listening to garbage. Stop listening to conspiracy theorists tell you the world's going to end. The government's evil. Reality sucks. Everything sucks. Stop listening to that. Start listening to positive, uplifting stuff how to fix your life, how to grow as a person, how to reach your full potential. People say, oh, personal development's a scam. Oh, positive thinking's a scam. See, these people don't understand what you focus on in your life is what is going to grow. If you focus on garbage, you're going to get more garbage. But if you focus on positivity, if you focus on personal development, growing yourself, becoming a better version of yourself, fixing your business, fixing your relationships, 
fixing your spirituality, fixing your addictions, your cravings, learning about life, learning about how life works. When you learn, when you fill your mind with good stuff, good stuff starts to happen in your life. But when you fill your mind with garbage, garbage starts to happen in your life. So if you look at your life right now, you know, you're, you're on pills, you're, you're on medications, you're psychologist, this, you know, you're addicted, you're, you have negative thoughts, your relationships in shit, everything's in shit. The reason why your life is in shit is because your mind is in shit. And the reason why your mind is in shit is because your, your Instagram feed is feeding you garbage. Your Facebook is feeding you garbage. You're watching garbage. Okay. You, everything starts, start changing the information you feed your mind. Stop, you know, unfollow the shit on your Instagram. Unfollow it, get rid of it. Only uplifting positive stuff, stuff about learning and growing and becoming the best version of yourself. And that's all I talk about here on this channel. Okay. So, um, that's, I think enough has been said here. This video can go for two hours. I'll talk the whole day if I could, but I don't want it to be too long. This on this channel, I'm devoted to helping you become the best version of yourself with weekly videos, free content, completely free. I'm committed to giving you the most valuable personal development content that I can get my hands on because I'm a junkie. I fucking love reading books that expand my mind, that change my life, that forge me and mold me into a better person. I love going to courses and seminars, paying money. I've paid at this point $20,000 just for retreats, coaching, courses. It helps me, helps me understand how to become the best version of myself so that I can help you do that as well in your life. Okay. So in, in conclusion, magic mushrooms are powerful. They're awesome. Okay. They only work if you use them in tandem with a holistic life plan, meditation, exercise, diet. Okay. All of this, I talk about a lot of this stuff on my channel. I'm going to talk about more of it. Um, as you go on. So if that sounds cool to you, subscribe, check out this video here, how to shift yourself into being cognition. I give you an overarching view of all of human growth and development. I think you'll enjoy that one. And uh, besides that, stay tuned and uh, good luck on your journeys. Good luck on your mushroom trips. Okay. Be careful and I'll see you in the next one.